Welcome back to Outdoor Skills Made Easy. It's Memorial Day and we have a family tradition of always cooking something, gathering together, and today we're going to do some salsa verde. And because it's Memorial Day, I want to just stop right here and say thank you to all the veterans who have provided your service to our nation, provided our freedom. Uh, shout out to my dad who was a veteran of World War II and uh, now my son who's serving in the Navy. So thank you all you veterans. Now let's get at it. Today we're doing Chili Verde, which could be an all day event, but because we are Outdoor Skills Made Easy, we've simplified this and have a delicious recipe for you. So a minimal amount of cutting. We're gonna start with a pork roast, about three pounds, three and a half. This one's a three and a third pound pork roast. We're gonna chop up an onion. And then we've got a couple of cans of just some green chilies. Six to eight ounces of chilies is great. Then a bottle of salsa, you can choose mild, medium, or hot, whatever you prefer. A little bit of oil that we'll use as we're browning our pork roast, salt and pepper, and a little bit of water. Pretty simple, let's go. So when we're cutting our meat, I always like to use my nitrile gloves. So I'll put my gloves on, get this out of the wrapper. We're gonna cut this maybe into three or four pieces and go to the Dutch oven. And we're gonna trim a little bit of fat off of here. The thing that I like about this recipe is as you begin, you can start your coals. And by the time we've got our meat cut up, we're ready to go with the coals and we can just progress to the next step. And then take those over to the Dutch oven and brown those. We'll bring them back here and cut them into one inch squares, put them back in the Dutch oven, let them simmer until it's very tender. We've got our Dutch oven warming up on the coals. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil just to keep the meat from sticking. And we'll add that in, just brown it up a little bit. Use that piece to move it around. We'll just let that brown. And once it's browned on all sides, we'll pull it off and cut it into one inch chunks. While the pork roast is browning, we're gonna go ahead and cut our onion up. And then when that's done, we'll pull off the pork roast. We'll cut that into chunks and then we'll start cooking the onion. So now our pork is just about browned. We're going to go ahead and put the onion into the Dutch oven. We'll let those cook for three or four minutes till they're translucent. And we'll let the pork cool down just a little bit and cut it into one inch chunks. Time to cut up the pork. And by the time this is done, the onion should be ready. Uh, once we get it cut, we'll add some salt and pepper and we'll just transfer everything back into the Dutch oven. Let's check our onions. They should be translucent about now. If they're ready to go, we'll bring the pork over, put all the ingredients in, and we'll bring it to a boil. Then we're gonna let it simmer until it's nice and tender. Could be an hour and a half, two hours, depending on your Dutch oven. They look just right. So let's go ahead and add our other ingredients. That's great. Lost a couple off the edge. About a third of a cup of water. So we're just gonna use this can, which is half. Here's our tomatillo salsa. Give that all a stir. Okay, that's ready to go. We're gonna add some charcoal to the top and bring it to a boil and then we'll just let it simmer. So we've been cooking for about two, two and a half hours and it's time to check it out. Wow, it looks amazing, it smells amazing. It's time for us to put some in the bowl and give it a try. There's a wide variety of ways to serve chili verde. Some people just like it in their bowl, they put on some cotilla cheese or different condiments. Some people would put it over the burrito or over some rice. And here's another suggestion that we have for you. If you've got a lot of kids and they like their different types of chips, just open a bag of chips. We'll go ahead and put some chili verde in there, all the different condiments that you like, and you're ready to go. Let's serve it up. Oh, that looks delicious. So what we like to do, some people like a little more juice than others. We've got a slotted spoon. We're just gonna take some, Pour it in our bowl here. Want a little bit more juice, so we'll just add some. Now we're gonna add the condiments that we want. I'm gonna start with the little traditional cotilla cheese. Just get some of that, that looks great. A slice of lime is good for me. 
a little bit of cilantro, a little dollop of sour cream, here come my avocados, a few tomatoes, and I'm going to finish it off with a few chips that I just like to crush. All right, let's give it a taste. Stir that up just a little bit, a little bit of each of those flavors. Mm. What a wonderful, wonderful dish. You will love this. Super easy to make. It takes a little bit of time just as it simmers, but it's marvelous. Next, we're going to try and put a little bit of this in our Doritos bag. And I like to crush up my chips in there. We'll do the same thing. Add a little sour cream, a little squeeze of lime. Just have some other cheeses here. We'll add tomatoes, avocados, and now I've got an individual serving. Everybody's going to enjoy this. I hope that you'll try it, and I hope that you'll join us again at OSME TV. Man, is that good.